you can see where the white spot is. Just like a 1970s carpet green. It's just super rich in color. But I don't know if you can see the rings along this mushroom. I don't know how long this guy, boy, this one is on there really solid. I just don't want to damage it. I want to show you what this... Oh, that's nothing. That was an easy pull. Look, sorry about the bouncing. I got tree branches stuck in my eyes, but this is amazing. I came across this tree here, and as you can see, the very flat bottom to it, this is a little little lighter and this tree is just full of these oh there's a bigger one on the back side very big one now look at that uncharacteristic to the last batch of black ones we've been looking at I came across this tree and about 10 feet up we got this great growth rounded in some bark but towards the center of it and if you can see it here it's more of a of a mushroom type centerpiece to it but this is huge this is bigger than a basketball this is uh, more like a beach ball size right on the edge of the n another dead tree and I'm finding a lot of different mushrooms just in this area I piked a lot of this woods already and it's interesting that all these mushroom formations, different fungus formations, are right here. It's an interesting location. Now again, looking for some more mushrooms. And uh, I did find a couple down here. Uh, these were both on another birch tree. These aren't as black as some of the other ones I've found, but uh, more of a lightish gray white color to them uh, a little lighter in weight than those black ones now I came across this tree here and as you can see take a look at this one here it's got a flat bottom to it uh, and similar to this guy right here which I just found up here can see that one. When that one pulls off, you can see where the the stem of it is. But look at the uh, the very flat bottom to it. This is a little a little lighter, and this tree is just full of these. And what's interesting is another mushroom up at the top here. I can show you that one and zoom in. Now any help on the uh, species of this mushroom, if you just want to make a comment on the bottom uh, of the video in the comments section. Now this is another birch tree and it could be just another formation of the chaga. Oh there's a bigger one on the back side. Very big one. Now look at that. That guy there. These are about six six inches in diameter. See if I can get a close-up shot of this. And this tree is just full of them right at eye level. Sorry about the bouncing, I got tree branches stuck in my eyes, but this is amazing. Uh, they're whitish brown. Uh, this one has a very unique color to it. And again, they all have this unique flat bottom uncharacteristic to the last batch of black ones 
we've been looking at. But this is just another good size. One, two, three, four, right here in this one spot. Well, I'm just hiking on my way back to the vehicle. I stumbled across these here. Another great find, and I think this is on a um, elm tree. And take a look at what this one is producing. And notice this is a broken off tree. It's a uh, not real healthy tree, but that seems to be the location where these great, look at this one, these great mushrooms. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That one is, you know, two different colors. We got, uh, you know, it's pretty similar. Uh, we got the outside black texture, and this one has a different white bottom to it. And if this is not the uh, the chaga mushroom, uh, please let me know on the bottom of the uh, on the screen and put in a comment and what this is. But uh, I believe this is another species of chaga on this elm tree. And these are some beautiful. There's two of them right here towards the bottom, towards the base of this tree. And again, there isn't anything on the good part, on these good stems of the tree. It's on this one that is damaged and it's going to be dying. And all of the nutrients is flooding into these mushrooms. Let me see if I can show you from both sides. Look at the uh, look at the nice. You can see the healthy. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but the green moss is. It's like little tiny ferns. That's. It's just like a 1970s carpet green. It's just super rich in color. But I don't know if you can see the rings along this mushroom. I'm going to set this other one down. This was a pretty heavy, dense mushroom that I pulled off the birch. But if I move this stick out of the way, and I want to see if I can... pull this guy off of here and show you. I don't know how long this guy, boy, this one is on there really solid. I might have to break out the knife, the chisel, or the, the hatch to get it off. But I think with a good pull, we should be able to get this. I just don't want to damage it. I want to show you what this... Oh, that's nothing. That was an easy pull. Look at the base. There, there's not much to the entry point. You can see where the white spot is. That's like that's like the nipple of the of the bottle where all of the stuff is going in. And right here over on the tree. And it's only about the size of a dime. That is the flood point right there. And as you pull it off, look at that. This one's a little bit lighter. But look at that bottom to it. I don't know if you can see all these spores. This would be amazing in the microscope. If I could so show you with the camera. Another nice one. I think we're going to leave the other one right on the tree. And compare these two here. Here's the chaga off the birch and again I believe this is the chaga off the elm but again if you know more about this mushroom please put a comment at the bottom of the of the page and if we travel up look at this guy here In 
maybe we'll find some more. But this has been a great find this morning. So thanks for checking us out. Hi, we made her back home again. And here is our harvest from today. These are all the different mushrooms that we pulled off the different trees. Uh, these right here was the first one. This one here was off the elm. All the rest were off of birch. Now this one is quite a bit heavier. Uh, this is a lighter lighter one here and they're all looking similar to this uh, kidney uh, shaped liver shaped uh, mushrooms but there we have it this is what we pulled off today